Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel. And this is a quick look at one of the sections that's probably a little more controversial or a little more, um, I would say, you know, uh, it, it is one of those things that sometimes will maybe make the user a little kind of worried about his PC in reality. You just got to understand what it means because um, they tried to do something with the Windows Defender that uh, many antivirus software do, and it's to give a device health report if you want. And that is uh, not always a bad thing, but sometimes it will alarm you about something wrong when it's not necessarily wrong. So we're going to go into details on another section of the Windows Security app. It's the device performance and health. When you go here, there are several things in the device protection and health. Storage capacity, battery life, uh, apps and software, Windows time service. We're going to go and each section will have its own video. First, storage capacity. What is storage capacity in the health report? It's something that looks at your storage on your PC. What storage? Your internal hard drive, be it a regular hard drive or a SSD hard drive. And um, it will also look at any other drives available. Even might sometimes report with external drives. And so here it says storage capacity and it says no issues. What does that mean? Typically what that health report section will give you as details is when the storage is getting critically low. So if you have, for example, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, if you've got 300 gigabytes left, it's going to say no issue. 100 gigabytes left probably will say no issue. 15 gigabytes left, it's going to start warning you that there are things that are not right. And when that happens, when that storage capacity gets to its limit, it will offer you some options that you can click, including the disk cleanup utility, and um, basically will offer some advice that your hard drive is really getting full and that you might need to do something about it. And of course, it will also send you to another section of the settings app, um, which is related to all the storage that you might have. So in your system, one of the things you have is storage. So here you've got, of course, all the details of, you know, apps that are being used and how much, how much uh, space apps or, or files or documents and so on are using. And you will have, of course, uh, storage sense running. So when in your Windows security app, the device health and performance storage capacity report goes red it's going to tell you there's a lot of space that you need to actually, um, you know, get if you want to, for example, have your PC run correctly, if you want uh, Windows updates to work correctly, for example, because it needs a certain amount of space. So this will appear over here when something bad happens. You, re you could see right now when I click on it, nothing happens. Why? Because there's no issues. So there's no options to actually show us. But once you get into a moment where there's not a lot of space, there will be some options here that will actually tell you, okay, this is what I'm offering as tools to actually get more space. Like I said, it's not just on your main hard drive, the C drive. It will also look at storage capacity in your other drive. So it might say, oh, uh, drive D is low on disk space. The... Um, interesting part of this and that is one of the fixes that they had when the health report actually gets uh, a message so of course it's going to display here your shield is going to change color it's going to become yellow a uh, little check mark is going to be yellow because it's going to say hey, there's something wrong that you need to check out what there are two things that can happen with storage capacity if your main c drive doesn't have a lot of space you need to do something about it yes absolutely and it will offer you tools. But when the storage capacity problem is on another drive, say your D drive, 
you know it's full. Maybe you've been putting stuff on it. You know, you know it doesn't have a lot of space left. <clears throat> well, the D drive doesn't necessarily need to have a lot of space left. Maybe it's okay with you that it's pretty full, you know, and you just want it to stay like that. The good thing that they added at some point, because it was not there originally, is the capacity to say, just don't worry me about that, okay? It's all, it's all right. It's fine. And you'll be actually offered the option to just not give you any details about that. You don't want to know about it. And it will stop annoying you. And that's where it gets delicate because some of these options sometimes will warn you about things and you're like, well, I don't want to be warned about that. I know. I know. And I'm okay with it. So at least you'll have the options to just say, okay, I stop, stop annoying me with this. Okay. I'm okay. So storage capacity, it's uh, just looking at your hard drive and your storage, even external storage, and uh, eventually warning you that, oh, there's not a lot of space left on this hard drive or this USB thumb drive or external USB drive. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.